This is problem number four uh, from chapter three in Gene Coley. Uh, the question simply reads, if Vx is 6.80 units and Vy is negative 7.40 units, determine the magnitude and direction of the vector V. I've gone ahead and written our uh, initial information here. Um, and I think it's important to start the problem by making a sketch on a coordinate axis. So uh, my x component is positive 6.8, so I'm going to draw that in. And uh, my y component is negative 7.4, so it's going to be a little bit larger, and it's in the downward direction. Uh, so therefore, since I've drawn that, I can now then expect my actual vector, which I'll draw here in orange, um, to look something like this. It's clearly going to be in the fourth quadrant. Uh, I could, if I wanted to, show that the sum of the y component and the x component using the head-to-tail method produces my resultant here. I'm going to leave them uh, uh, as I have originally, but it's important for you to see that. I could also move this here and I'd get to the same place. So uh, these vectors uh, are unitless. I have these values here. And I should recognize that I can um, tune into this right triangle here. And um, I should start the problem by recognizing that. I have the x component, vx, and I have the y component, vy. And I'm basically looking for the magnitude of this resultant. Uh, I can basically find that by using the Pythagorean theorem. So uh, I should recognize that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And as I look at this right triangle here, the velocity vector v is the hypotenuse. And therefore, I can say the velocity vector v squared is equal to vx squared plus vy squared. Uh, taking the square root of both sides, I get v is equal to the square root of vx squared and, uh, sorry, uh, vy squared. I should recognize that this is, although I'm indicating uh, is a vector, is going to be the absolute value because it's not going to give me the direction of that vector. It's simply going to give me its magnitude. So technically speaking, uh, I should put those absolute value bars on there. And then finally, when I plug this in, I'm going to get the x component, which is 6.8 squared, and I'm going to add to it um, negative 7.4, and I'm going to square it. That yields a magnitude of my velocity vector um, of exactly 10 units, 10.0 units long. So I know it's 10 units long, but I still don't know what direction it's in. I should recognize here that the angle of interest is that angle here, theta. Uh, so recognizing that I can use the tangent function, I can say that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, or in this case, vy over vx. Um, and uh, I can plug these numbers in and say that uh, Vy is negative 7.4 and Vx is 6.8. Taking the inverse tangent or the arc tan of both sides, I get theta is equal to tangent, inverse tangent, sorry, negative 7.4 units over 6.8. Plugging that into my calculator, I get negative 47 degrees being theta negative 47. When I do my kind of quick idiot check here, I say, yeah, you know what? 47 degrees is below the uh, positive x-axis. It is in the fourth quadrant, and that's what I'm expecting to see with these two vector components, 6.8 uh, of uh, vx here and um, negative 7.4. So I am expecting it to be in the fourth quadrant. And also, equally important, I'm expecting that uh, angle to be greater than um, 45 degrees. And the reason is the y component is larger. So it should be larger than 45 degrees. This checks out. My final answer then is going to be v is equal to 10 units, and I'm going to go to three sig figs, at negative 47 degrees.